I am going to show you a card today that has a, what I call a faux letterpress technique. Kind of looks like you've letterpressed it, but you really haven't. I'll um, introduce you to the products we'll be using. From the Australian collection, we have the Brisbane. Also from the Australian collection, we have the Sydney die. And the uh, border from the Border Corner tag set. And we'll also be using out of the New Zealand collection, the Wellington die. And we'll be embossing our background with the Bed of Roses A4 embossing folder from Creative Expressions. So I'm going to start with the embossing. I've got a piece of French Navy card. I'll bring over our embossing folder. Put that inside. And the sandwich for this is just your embossing folder and your raspberry adapter plate. Put that through the platinum machine. Okay. Oops. Just get underneath that, kind of peel it off. And you can see you've got a really beautiful emboss coming through with that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, ordinarily with a letterpress technique, you ink up the folder, run it through, and it transfers the ink into the what I call the floor of the design, giving you a darker look. But what we're going to do is take the dark card and rub over the top of it with a lighter ink so that the bottom will actually appear darker from that, giving you that letterpress technique look. So I'm just using a snow cap Adirondack ink pad. And this works beautifully on any of your darker colors. You can just rub over the top here. Just give it a light rub. Try not to push too hard. You don't want it to go into the, um, the actual design that's on the floor of the design. But you want to bring out that lighter color on the top. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful the way that looks? So pretty and so easy to do too. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I've cut some of the Australian borders, put a little bit of spray glue on them so they're ready and I'm going to put them onto the sides. We'll just line up the edge of this uh, border with the edge of the card and try and center it. That feels like it's sticking a bit better. Give it a second. We'll do this side. Try and center it exactly the same. And a little bit down there. Give it a second. Get it nice and stuck on. You might even want to put some um, Dries clear glue right on the tips of those to keep them nice and held down. And then we will just trim away the extra bit here. I find it's easier to do it from the back. Carefully trim along the edge of the card. There we go. So you've got a nice um, even border on both sides. I'm going to bring in my backing. I've used the French Navy as a mat along with my coconut white and my pierced edge. Just ties that color in nicely. I'm going to pop that into place. There we go. And we're going to work forward from there. Now I've cut two of the Wellington die out of coconut white card and I've got a little bit of mounting foam on the back of both. So I'm going to just offset these. So I've got one going in a uh, diamond orientation and one going in a square. And I'm going to pop them right on top of each other. There we go. I'll tell you what, I'll just add a little bit of glue. Make sure that sticks well. Put that right down in the center of our card. Like that. There we go. And I've done the Brisbane in the French Navy with a white backing to it. And I'm just going to give it a quick spray. We'll pop it together. And there we go. And I'm going to use the center, there it is, 
center of the Brisbane and cut a frame out of this one. Tack that in place, tack that in place. And I'm also going to make a uh, frame to put on the top. I'll use that same die, so I'll have to cut it separate. Pop that through the machine. There we go. So I've got a really nice frame from that Brisbane. It's nicely matching, but I'm going to go ahead and use this same exact die on a piece of white card to make a pretty little frame for it. And the outside of the Sydney, the, out, uh, the outer circular cutting edge, because they're all done kind of concentrically, you can use these to make additional frames for your other dies. Pop that into place, Get that nice and centered. There it is. Bring that back. So now we have a really nice little frame that we can add to that Brisbane to really ac accent it like that. See, that'll go right on the top like that. And I've done one earlier, so I've got one with a little bit of mounting foam on it. I'm going to put that over my sentiment. I've got it raised up. Give it a little more dimension, which I love. Pop that right down over that. And I'll use my scissors to trim that. All the way around that. There we go. And a bit of glue on the back of that. We'll seat that right in the middle of our Wellington dies. Give that a second. So there, you can see that gorgeous background peeking through from behind that, and I just think that's such a stunning card. A few flat back pearls to accent it, and you're all set. Mm -hmm.